Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be doing some side quests for the railroad. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Went ahead and put the deliverer on. And I did upgrade it at Sanctuary. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? I don't want a code name. Code names aren't optional. All agents need to keep their identity secret to protect themselves and those close to them. I really don't want to choose. Suit yourself. We'll call you Wanderer. Seems fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. <clears throat> Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind, uh... Sidekick. Let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Let's go ahead and go into the railroad HQ. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. And we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now. So there's plenty for you to do. Listen up, everyone. This is the Wanderer. He did the switchboard op with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Up there, assume you're being watched. Always. We're gonna go ahead and grab this astoundingly awesome Tails. Nice. 
This is going to allow us to do 5% more damage with the Cryolator. Don't have the Cryolator yet, nor do I really use it that much. Uh, but if you're using it, this is a very good magazine to have. I'm a fan of Grognak myself. What will that wacky barbarian do next? <laughs> We're going to talk to Dr. Carrington real quick. Ah, it's our newest agent. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. Anything involving Stockton is important. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. We got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. So we're going to take the back exit here. Over here, if you want to hack this terminal, you can hack it and go get yourself a fusion core. That'll allow us to unlock the door. Let's go in to the north end. We're going to head west. Then we're going to take a right here. Head northwest. And then right here where the T intersection is, we're going to take a left. Head west. going to grab the dead drop get stocked in hollow tape let's go ahead and listen to that update observed unusual activity has ceased window is open for a heavy to make contact but they should act now the package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Let's go into our pit boy and put a level in. We'll put one more level into rifleman. 
and then next we're going to start working on perception and i think one more into gun nut so our next level will probably be gun nut and then we'll start working on perception now we're going to head east And then right here at the T intersection again, we're going to make a left to head north towards Bunker Hill. We're actually going to go into Bunker Hill today. Diamond, Diamond City thinks it's got a lock on trade in the Commonwealth, but watch out for Bunker Hill. It has a lot of potential. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Deacon interrupted Somebody that dialogue. Security issues. I apologize. Hi, I'm Meg. Me new to the hill? For ten caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Sure, I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's in the back. Bars in the corner and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. What a little shit. We're gonna go up the obelisk and grab ourselves a magazine. I always hate going up here. It always makes me nauseous. Hopefully nobody else uh, is feeling the same way. If so, close your eyes and I'll let you know when we get to the top. All right, right here we have a Live and Love magazine. There we go. Instead of being able to get plus 25% XP from persuading women, now we'll get uh, plus 25% XP for persuading men. Any good? Now we're going to go back down. Deacon, get out of the way, bud. Okay, we made it to the bottom. Doesn't look like we have any vendors around. We do have Stockton. Uh, we can talk to him real quick and maybe the vendors will be out by the time we're done talking to him. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends. Yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. And we're all about making good trade routes. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Looks like the traders are out and awake. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. You have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Caravaners just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's gotta be some truth to it. Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. I'll take care of your feral problem. Great. If you want to stock up first, you never know when one of my knickknacks will keep you alive. 
The safer I'm supposed to feel, the more paranoid. Mom runs the surgery, so you better be nice to me. We're gonna come over here. I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. Hey, you. Talk some sense into my numb skull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Since, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Trying to save synths sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. Hey. Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rotgut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. We'll be doing that later on. I just wanted to get it now. Talk to this trader, too. Hi. Huh. I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. So, you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian? I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Gonna pass. Very well. Let's go ahead and start making our way to the meeting spot. We're gonna head west. And then we're gonna hang a right here. And head north. And then right here we're gonna hang a left and head west again. We're gonna crouch. Who? End of the line. Ah! Fucking love this gun. This gun is so cool. Go into the B A D T F L regional office. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. How long do we have to distract this turret until the others find a way to shut it off? I hate pulling a short Aaron, straw. Sit. This better be worth it. How do we know I'm not risking my ass breaking into an empty broom pot? Alcohol, drugs, tobacco, firearm, and lasers. There has to be at least one of those things locked up as evidence. You killed him! Oh, man, please don't be ferals again. Seems we have a tip. Got him. We live to fight another day. And night. And day. Etc. Etc. I love Deacon's dialogue. His banter is really silly. Use that yeah. terminal to turn on the Protectron if you want. Playing games with me, huh? What the? Getting tired yet? Ain't scared yet. 
Come over here, grab this cap stash, and then we're going to listen to this Eddie Winters holotape. Message to Alexander Strelnikov. Come on out. I'll make it. My esteemed Mr. Day. Strelnikov. You can I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. But I have to honestly say, screw that. I mean, come on. One bullet halfway across town, and you blew Ron Trevio's head clean off. You, sir, are an artist. Are all the assassins from Russia as good as you? I seriously doubt it. But listen, your secret's safe with me. Eddie Winter, signing off. If you want, you can hack into that terminal. You can also lockpick this door for some loot. Just keep your eyes open. Payback! <gasps> no! Go ahead and lockpick this door. Nice. Pick ourselves up a Guns and Bullets magazine. Yes. That's going to allow our ballistic weapons to do 5% critical damage. Sweet. Attack this terminal real quick. The only reason I did that is to get Deacon to like it. You can turn off the turret that's over here with that terminal if you like. I like to get the experience so I don't bother. for one hell of a party. I'm going to listen to that hollow tape in just a moment. But first, let's loot some of this stuff. Now let's go ahead and listen to this hollow tape. Detective Valentine, Nick, listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset, but you need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believed in it. I still believe in it. They kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon, and they laid it all out. The whole thing. Winter's deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families, his idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates, and them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. It's over. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. We played our part, pal. Not the part we thought, but hey, it happens. Now we're just another box in the file room. Nick, listen to me. Everything that's happened with Winter, with Jenny, it's more than any one man should have to handle. You need help. Boston PD has been working with the eggheads at CIT. Some new program they have to deal with trauma. Scanning brainwaves or some such. I'll get you the info. 
You're going. That's an order. Okay, let's continue making our way over to the rendezvous. We're going to head northwest down this road. But I do want to loot a few things if I see them. You're going to hear a bunch of gunfire. That is going to be the Automatron DLC. We're not going to be doing that just yet. We're still a few episodes away before we start that. That'll be the first DLC that we do. By the way, you can loot all of that if you want. Over there is where you'll go to help Ada to start the DLC. Fighting again. Great. You're really thorough. You know that? Hmm? Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting ah, paid, what right? The oh. uh, we made that look easy. Okay, so it's not nighttime. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit in this pew and we're gonna wait until nighttime. I'll see everybody in just a moment. Went ahead and waited until 8 o'clock at night. They should be coming in in just a second. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. We'll be meeting High Rise in just a moment here. Easy there. Don't shoot. Wanderer, right? And my man Deacon, still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. It's nice to meet you. Honor's all mine. Let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. More raiders, not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah, I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Just gonna follow High Rise. We may run into some raiders. We may run into some super mutants, but nothing we can't handle. Man, you picked the wrong fight. 
I'm ready oh. for him. Again! Do it again! When you're done moving up, I'll be up ahead. Dude, what is with this garbage loot I'm getting with these legendaries, man? Just straight hot garbage. Hi, Rice. We can catch up at Tycon. We just got to make it there alive first. And we're here, all in the night's work for you agent types, huh? Just part of the service. I think I'm going to like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon, try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar. But it always pays to have them on your side. Later. We'll loot that real quick. And then we're going to go in this elevator and go up into Tycon. We're going to grab a magazine real quick. And then we're going to head back out. And continue our mission. Well... Not really our mission, but our, to our destination. Good old Tycon. High Rise is one of the best. High Rise runs a good safe house. Tycon's one of the few places I feel safe. Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't say anything. Perfect. Right here we get another Guns and Bullets. Again, this is going to give your ballistic weapons permanent 5% critical damage. That issue is one of my favorites. They say I'll be ready to move out of here soon. Hey, nice job with H2. Let's take the elevator down. Turn on our pit boy lamp. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our map and we're going to fast travel to the railroad HQ. I'll see everybody over there. Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Hey, Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. We're not going to do Butcher Bills just yet. I hope to God the Institute we'll be doing that here. later on. At least not soon. We're just going to take the back exit here.
Let's go ahead and go into our pit boy. We're going to go over to data. We're going to take off butcher bills or butcher's bill. That's weird. I think it should be butcher bills. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going to put on trouble brewing. Come out over here. We're going to take a left. We're going to take a right. And then a left. And then we're going to come out here and take a left. Old North Church is just here. Come out over here. We're gonna take a right. Let's crouch. There's some super mutants over here. Games don't mean over. to make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. Don't look, but I think we're being watched. We got fun time incoming. Just keep heading south here after taking out the super mutants. We're going to make a slight left and then a slight right to go around here. Just keep heading south. Guess my good karma's paying off. Fun time incoming. Huh? That guy fall through the world? No, he's right here. Okay, so we're gonna come over here, just to the right. So that's and it, huh? Take care of the. Shamrock Tap House. That wasn't in the script. good at this too good sometimes I'm really good and then other times I'm just Not dookie there. deacon <laughs> I'd be a lot sneakier by the way if I wasn't continuously using my pit boy lamp but again the only reason I'm doing that is so everybody can see what I'm doing let's go inside the shamrock tap house Clear out the bottom first. Go ahead and disarm all of this. Got it. The skills like that remind me to show you a couple places. Deacon likes when we help uh, the railroad. He also likes when we lockpick and hack terminals. Right over here, we're going to pick up a Gwinnett Lager recipe. We can give that to the drinking buddy, and he'll have new beer recipes for us. That's it. I say new beer recipes, but I mean, like, you'll have new beers that we can get from him. Not necessarily recipes. 
sounds weird when I say it like that. Wrong move, pal. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. Nothing too special in there. Just some rad roaches. We're going to come over here and get a total hack. Excellent. This is going to allow us to hack spotlights. You can go through there if you want. It's not a big deal. We're going to go upstairs now. Grab this mini nuke. What? Oh, it's Insert on. something uh, Shakespearean uh, involving death and your inevitable doom here. We can stand up now. I love how they're trying to break into this safe and the shamrock tap house key is right here. That makes me laugh every time I see it. Like, I guess raiders really aren't that smart, are they? I'm going to come down here. This is where we entered at. So we're going to come around this way. This is where we got the total hack magazine. And then right over here, we're going to have some mole rats pop out. I heard something. Traveling with you ain't dull. I'll say that. It killed all the mole rats. We can pick up another shamrock tap house key if you want. Cap stash. And then a terminal for some lure. And then right here is the drinking buddy. We picked up that Gwinnett beer re recipe, so we'll immediately give that to him. If you have the one that we got from the Beantown Brewery and you dropped it off at Sanctuary, be sure to pick it back up when we go to talk to the drinking buddy again. Or if you want to do it now, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal and get the drinking buddy. Beginning startup sequence unknown hardware detected auxiliary bios detected flashing operational subroutines micro brewers operational internal bottling mechanism operational output dispensary operational detecting brewing subroutines hollow tape detected for women fail ale startup sequence complete Dispensing sample for approval by technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Mm. Cold and refreshing. Do you know how long it's been since I had cold beer? Very good. I appear to be operating at an optimal level. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Yeah, sure. Beginning transit operations to Hotel Rexford. So it says follow drinking buddy to the Hotel Rexford. You don't have to follow him. He'll make his way over to the Hotel Rexford. So just let him do his thing and then eventually we'll go back and we'll go and complete that quest. For now, let's go ahead and exit out of here. We're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. We'll wait for Drinking Buddy to get out of our way first. 
All right, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.